The tides, the ecosystem, it's all perfect to farm sea salt. And once Lily Leadham discovered this, she knew it was something that she wanted to share with the entire world. And the saltery was born. Watch. At Saltery, we hand harvest sea salt from the beautiful Duxbury Bay. Tell me how it all started, how you even discovered that this was something you could do. So I've always been obsessed with salt, and I took a trip actually to Paris five years ago where I discovered a market with an incredible array of colorful and flavorful salts. When I came home, I started hauling buckets of water back to my kitchen and tinkering and experimenting. And pretty quickly, I knew that I could figure out how to make a really good, delicious, high-quality sea salt. What's so interesting is it's not just one type of salt. Like, you're not just, you're not, it's not just one product that you have out there for people. Yeah. How did you develop the different flavors and different yeah. kinds? So I started with just one type, which is Duxbury salt. It's a flaky finishing salt. In times of inspiration, I spend time in my kitchen just uh, playing around with different herbs and botanicals and all natural organic ingredients. There's just so much nuance and so much to explore with salt and salt flavors. This sounds so similar to wine or oysters where where it comes from is so crucial to the finishing flavor of it. How is that true for, for salt? <laughs> I love that analogy. I think it's spot on. When you think of wine, you think of the different regions and the nuances in the, the taste. And salt is really similar. There are certain qualities in the water here in Duxbury. There's millions of oysters. They're putting minerals into the water and it gives it a certain flavor. All right, well, we have the bucket, Lily. Should we, shall we start? Let's go. <laughs> so from the beach to the kitchen, Lily, this is where the salt becomes the salt. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. So after hauling our bucket back to the kitchen, filtering the water, we are now in the process of condensing the water. Our condensed water will then move to the salt flake making part of the process, which is really the most magical, yeah. the most exciting part. And from here, they're, they're not ready to eat yet. These still need to be dried. So what we do is we move them to our drying tray. From here, we're going to actually put the tray in the oven. Okay. So this is the OG, the Duxbury salt. This could go out to customers as is, but your 49 other flavors have a little more of a journey <laughs> to their final product, right? Exactly. Today we're featuring the onion lover salt, which has three different layers of flavor. So we start with the salt flake and then we actually infuse that with onion. How long does this process take? It takes about, I would say 96 hours to go from water to finished product. And one of the great things is sharing saltery as a gift. So these are our gift sets. You can actually mix and match any two flavors you want from the website. So you package it up, you get ready. It's coming home with us.